The next phase of the Forest Preservation Program FPP is the Land Use, Land Use Change and Forestry Survey LULUCF. The aim of this task is to produce wall-to-wall -wall land use, land use change and forestry map data of the entire country for the period 1990 to the present. This part of the Forestry Preservation Program FPP, was necessitated by the need to understand the drivers of forest change in the country. The results will form part of the baseline that will be used to monitor changes to the forest resources of Ghana to help in policy formulation about land use in Ghana. The purpose of the survey is to build capacity for Ghana and receive compensation for carbon sequestration of Ghana's forests. This part of the project was led by Mr. Francis Balfour Agogo, an independent remote sensing consultant. This is the first of its kind in the West African sub-region and Ghana stands to benefit from this experience by way of uh, preserving her forest and then uh, managing them in such a manner that you know it will sequestrate carbon dioxide produced by the industrialized countries. The project will conduct LULUCF mapping and trending analysis for the whole of Ghana, 238,000 km square using pilot forests. The team conducted a detailed forest resource classification and topographic mapping with selected forest areas. The results will be extrapolated to produce figures for the entire country. There are a total of five project teams across the country, each conducting similar studies. The team is now in WA in the Upper West region of Ghana, where they will collect data about how much CO2 is in the environment. Lucy is the team leader for Team 5, leading operations in WA. Before we go to the field, we do what we call field planning. We look at the images we have, the satellite images we have, and then plan our route, taking into consideration the coloration of the images, certain places are peculiar colors, so we'd want to go there to find out what they represent on the ground. We have satellite images which cover the entire country. So by using the satellite imagery, which covers the entire country, we can extrapolate what we measured over the limited sample area over the entire country and find out the quantity of forest. Since we know by relationships, we can work out the biomass over the entire country. After all this data has been collected, it is compared to satellites mainly from Landsat archives. Recent ALOS archives and, where necessary, other sensor data will be used to produce a complete and consistent land use classification for each epoch with land use change statistics and mapped information for each time interval. The survey was conducted using IPCC Good Practice Guidelines for LULUCF. It's a body that is put in place internationally to give us knowledge of the state of climate change. Of working with a hundred or so scientists from around the globe who are specialists in their areas, of really close negotiation, discussion, sharing, building the evidence base to try and make sure that we produce the best possible report. This IPCC has set standards, guidelines, you know, on how to measure, if, uh, validate and then report and whatever we do in Ghana here has to be in conformity with those standards. Observing the various land use classes we're interested in, the forest, the grasslands, the water bodies, the settlements and the others. When we observe and we realize it's um, good enough for what represents the IPC standards, we take it. The rich industrialized nations have left giant carbon footprints on the globe and so they are responsible to pay countries with forests which take out this excess CO2. You can determine the carbon sequestering through biomass estimations which is done by measuring the carbohydrate that is contained in the forest and preserved in tree stumps, leaves, etc. Once we know the biomass, we can determine how much CO2 has been removed by Ghana's forests. If you know, for example, the biomass of the carbohydrate that is produced, then you can work back to uh, find out the quantity of carbon dioxide that has combined in terms of millions of tons of uh, carbon dioxide that has been removed from the atmosphere. In the end, Ghana will be paid for our carbon sequestering, that is, how much excess carbon our forests have cleared.